Okay, uh, hello guys and welcome back to this uh, new episode of Mobilize series. So today we're going to be doing uh, a search filter or a search engine or a search page in Mobilize. So you realize that Mobilize doesn't come with a, a, a search page or a search filter or anything to do with the search uh, in any of its blocks. Uh, even if you're using the current Mobilize which is 5.6, you won't find anything like a search engine or a search blog or a search uh, kind of a search page or a search filter in its page in its blocks so what i tried to do was to introduce kind of a search page or a search filter uh, where you can uh, just type in a search bar and then it filters everything in the table and then brings what you've narrowed down in the of course the search uh, results so i'm kind of going to show you how i did it uh, probably if you have some improvements or if you can do some improvements if you have some other uh, options or uh, you have a better version of it or how if you can improve it you can really contact me uh, through you can comment in the video and we see how we can improve more so this is what I try to do uh, I try to implement a search filter where you can have search for everything you have a bar where you can search for example, if I'm searching in a word islands, you as you type, it fills as everything in the table and it brings uh, the most relevant search according to what you're typing. So as you type, it will be fills as uh, all your, of course, your list in the table and as it brings the most relevant, of course, words or search uh, and finally, once you see the most relevant in the search, you can go ahead and click on it. Probably if it is a link, if you make it a link, you can go ahead and click on it and it takes you to the page that you want. Very quickly. So kind of a, a search or a quick access where you can just search for a page or anything or an article you want on the blog. And once it comes after the filter, once it comes up here in the filter, we click on it and it takes you to the uh, right page right away without going through all the uh, site and website which is the hectic part so that said let's go and see how i uh, implemented this probably you could implement it uh, also yourself in your website if you're using mobilize even if you're just using plain uh, html because this is the plain html inside bootstrap okay so step one what we did i had to uh, implement what you call a custom code in Mobilize. Now Mobilize uh, provides a custom code where you can uh, uh, drop a, a plain block and then that block you insert your HTML code, HTML CSS block uh, right from scratch. So we coded or I coded this Mobilize filter uh, from scratch and I'm going to be sharing my code in the uh, of course, I'll put the link below in the description where you can visit the page where the code is. Go and download that code and you can reuse it the way you want. It's actually free. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, first of all, uh, I'm going to be, of course, kind of uh, deleting this, first of all. Then remove block. So how did we implement this? We actually added, first of all, number one, we added a plain block or an empty block this one here where you can put a custom code and code it yourself it's actually an extension if you don't have that extension you will check in my previous videos i'll make uh, some videos how to show you how to or you wait for the more coming videos how to implement these extensions in mobilize 4. Uh -huh. so you drag mobilize is actually a drag and drop website builder so every block that you're dropping in there uh, website it's a drag and drop you drag the block and drop it on the site once the block is dropped on the site uh, now what we're going to do i'm uh, going to head you over here on the panel where i will have uh, very many options including the settings block parameters but i will mostly interested in the edit block this one here the one that looks like this the code edit block now this extension of uh, editing the block or custom code editing your code is actually a, an extension that you can just buy from mobilize mm, you add it in your extension it's actually part here then you go to your uh, extensions
you will find the extension called custom code editor if you can't find it you can just uh, search it code editor and it will come this is the code editor uh, though i'm using my own version of the code editor and i will be uh, showing you how to get this free version of the code editor probably in the next video then you can just go ahead and click on that code editor and install it in your mobilize of course it's a premium or pro version but after having it this is how we're going to be using it to make a search filter or to add a custom code in our mobile. So after drag and dropping at the empty block where we can put our code, of course, section that takes us to the custom code section where we're going to be editing our code. Uh, just like I told you, I already have the code pre-edited. So I'll be giving you the link to where you'll be downloading your code from. Uh, it's going to be in the description. And also subscribe to the channel check your description and follow the link to download the code and once you bring the html code uh, you replace it with uh, this html block of course control paste i mean control all backspace remove everything and then paste the new code now this new code involves uh, um, of course the blocks for the parameter and parameters for the blocks for the mobilized blocks then also uh, the div or the container that contains the table filter search of course that's pure html and plus it's javascript that's going to be helping for our uh, search and filter then it has to have uh, some uh, css of course css now we have place our css here on this section so we go back and open the css file bring the code from the css and uh, paste it here control copy gonna copy this then bring it up here and uh, control all move this and paste it now after pasting then we can uh, save our code and you see how good uh, it's gonna be looking yes so finally now we have the uh, the search table filter or the search page have uh, been loaded and if you try to search something here you can see it's gonna be um, kind of filtering uh -huh. And you can see that it's actually working perfect. Paris. Oh, wrong. Okay, now we can filter that. So finally, uh, our uh, search filter or search uh, page filter or pe search page is actually working very well. Now, one more thing before we leave. Uh, you realize that in Mobilize, once you click on some text, you can change its text size and also you can uh, edit it while typing text but uh, in our table here in our search filter here you find that you can't edit or you can't add anything you can't edit whatever has been pre-ordered and we have to be able to edit that uh, in order to put our articles that you're going to be searching probably if the clients i uh, want to search anything maybe for an article that you've already written and it's on a website and you just bring its title and replace it with this so so in order to do that, where somebody can edit uh, on this, uh, we're gonna have to, of course, click, still click on our editor, code editor, go back to code editor. Now we're going to add some code uh, inside the table data. Uh, it's actually some MBA record, and we're gonna have to uh, copy it to the section. So this is the MBA record that we're going to paste uh, into our, of course, styling section in the table data such that we can be able to uh, edit the text uh, according to the theme, uh, to the font style, and also to the MBR text class. And also uh, the data type set uh, that is actually uh, set for mobile theme, and that's uh, of course display seven is the data type set. So we're gonna have to copy this, then we bring it to our table data. Wherever we have table data, you paste that table data you paste it just in the uh, at the end of the table uh, the table data code oh, but inside the tags make sure I paste it inside the tags just like this
and you're gonna have to paste it on every uh, table data of course uh, code such that you have to get that ability to edit and paste and also uh, add more so you kind of paste on all then uh, later we shall see how to add so i think that's enough for sample uh, we can sample that uh, for the time being now let's uh, save this and we see how it's working whether we are able to edit the text uh, also increase in our text okay so we've edited right from the first one yes now you can see the cursor is actually positioning itself this is good you can see once you click the cursor comes you can add okay and say this okay change you can also delete what has been there just because after adding that code now we're able to edit whatever is in our table for example you have a new article or if i told you you're making a drug and conditions uh, website uh, now this is a list of drugs or also conditions if for example you can say mm, this is a drug called paracetamol something like that then uh, you can also add something here also another so you can go ahead and uh, make sure that you refresh all these and put that custom code um, edited data and after that you can go ahead and uh, also link because once you click on it uh, you can not only change the uh, text you can also change the font size uh, for example if it's roboto you can change it to something like um where 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 uh that so you can really change the font here change the font you can also change the font type from uh uh title 2 to title 3 or to text or to menu something like that but also you can also go ahead and uh, make it bold uh-huh you can also make it italic so you can literally do uh, what everybody has been okay what you've been doing on any other mobilized text uh, inside our table that we've just added so not forgetting that we can also link this now after right clicking just highlight whatever you want to link then um, after highlighting you will see the option of the link coming here click on the option you can link it to certain page for example if it's uh, a title for a certain page you can just link it to a certain page inside such as if somebody is searching for that page just has to come to uh, on the search engine and uh, search for that like a uh, paracetamol and once it comes he clicks on the link and it takes him to the paracetamol page now let's launch this and see how it's really working if the link is working and if everything is working right so you can go ahead and edit it even more uh, make it bold uh, make more uh, fancy content i mean fancy text uh, you can really make it look nice but that's the basic functionality of the search filter table and how we integrate it into our mobile sites and it works next we shall be doing another video showing you how we can make a, a very quick search uh, of i mean a very quick contact us page where you don't have to go into the server side or the php things uh, you can just uh, use mobilize to make a contact us page where people can uh, you know uh, comment uh, send them messages write your email so let's first finish with uh, uh, the mobile uh, the search filter or the search page then after we shall be uh, heading over to that video you just have to subscribe the channel such that you don't miss out on such uh, fantastic updates on this uh, mobile series channel okay so it should be opening should be opening the browser i don't know why it's taking too long but it should be opening the browser and we test it as i told you i'll be providing this code in the link below uh, just check in the description the code will be available on my blog 
you can go and download the code for free on my blog so as i said don't forget to subscribe to the channel also you can like the video you can also share it you can just ignore these errors such as we run our page successfully and we test it okay so now it has launched in the browser we can go ahead and test and we see whether are the links are working and if the search page is really working fine just like we anticipated so this is the page this is how it looks like on the internet after being hosted also i'll be showing you in the next other videos how to host these mobile sites uh, on a free server probably github app pages or any other free server google server or things like that so let's go ahead and see for example if you type something like uh, let's search for this conningling sn conningling sn the moment you say k you can see it filters perfect it brings uh, the exact filter or search result that you really uh, even before you finish the word it has already brought it on top and you can go ahead and, and work on it type paracetamol paracetamol is already on top so you can see once you point into this paracetamol down here it shows you that this is a hyperlink and once you click on it it's gonna take me uh, it should be taking you to uh, the page that where it was linked and this is the page where we linked our uh, of course our paracetamol link so once you click on it it takes you here so this is ideally uh, what it's all about you have a custom search page where people search for things and once the articles come he clicks on the name of the, uh, the title of the article it takes him direct to the uh, uh, article right away without wasting time meandering around at the website so for today that's all uh, probably in the next couple of videos I'll be sharing so much of uh, how to insight all these techniques in mobilize uh, but uh, don't forget to subscribe such that you don't miss out on such fantastic of course tricks and uh, techniques in mobilize and uh, for today this is all we have thanks for watching I'll see you next tutorial